Okay, this is the suction screen on a 4710. Uh, a lot of times these screens become blocked uh, or plugged. And when you, when you operate the machine, if the machine feels like it's either surging or if you're getting air in the, in the hydraulics, or if the hydraulics are, are slow, right? That, that's a sign that there's a problem on the, on the screen, potentially, on the suction screen, on the hydraulic uh, pump area. So what you want to do is you want to take out that screen and you're going to inspect it and then if it's dirty, um, you're going to clean it. You're going to want to take, I, us I usually use hot water and soap right in the sink and I'll take a soft brush like this and I'll run it under hot water and some soap and just kind of go back and forth over the screen. This is just a screen wire mesh uh, screen filter, filter screen if you will, if you look down the center of it. It's got the steel inner part, which has these these perforations or these holes. And then on the outside, it's also just like, almost like a screen in a window. It's a, it's a screen that goes over that to really protect any fine pieces of metal getting into the hydraulic pump itself or the filters. These, these usually will have, will normally have some pieces in there, whether it's old seals, hydraulic seals that just went and fell apart or you'll get some steel shavings once in a while in there that's actually normal um, not excessive shavings but you know a piece of metal here and there will get picked up but the real the real issue when you see the slow hydraulics and when these really get plugged up is when the fluid starts to kind of go bad and when i say go bad it either has water in the fluid that's been in the in the fluid for a long time. And what happens is it'll turn milky and the fluid becomes almost uh, milky, right? And white looking versus clear. When that happens, that's, that's a sign that you either have water in your hydraulic fluid or you have uh, a contamination of some sort in the, in the hydraulic fluid itself. So what happens is that fluid becomes too thick and it can't get through the screen. And so it's gonna plug that screen up eventually. So this screen becomes basically um, a wall, right? And now the fluid can't get through the wall. It's gonna to have, to, to have to seep through there slowly and causes slow hydraulics and other issues on the machine. The other issue you may notice is that if it's a hydrostatic, it'll, it'll surge. Like it'll just surge kind of by itself when the fluid starts to replenish itself as it leaves the filter leaves the screen area. So long story short is you wanna ch change, you wanna inspect this, clean this. You can change this as well. You can buy a brand new one and you can take the old one, just throw it away. Um, they're about $60 to buy them new and they're, they're meant to be cleaned and serviced. So as long as there's no holes, there's no leaks in the outer screen, the mesh, then you're, you're good. You can clean it with a soft brush, uh, hot water and soap, dish soap in the sink, clean it all up, dry it all up, put it back in and then you'll be fine. The other thing to note, I'm gonna show you where this is on the machine in about two seconds. The other thing to know is that when you do this, you've gotta drop all the fluid from the transmission uh, area, right? So the suction on the hydraulics is pulling the fluid from the transmission area. So all the fluid that's in there, it's about five gallons, will come right out. Uh, again, good time to look at the fluid. If it's, if it's cloudy, if it's milky, uh, you want to change all the fluid in the machine, do an, an entire uh, fluid change on the machine, and you'll be just fine. Clean out your screen, you'll be just fine. Put it all back together. And then 10 times out of 10, you know, I, I would say when, this, when I do this, the hydraulics are back to normal. There's no issues. If you've got a real dirty machine, especially if you've got a backhoe or a loader, where you can't really flush all that hydraulic fluid out completely, you may have to do this next season again because it may start to plug up because you're only going to be able to get 50%, yeah, 60% of that fluid out of the machine because it's, it's all in, the, in the, the hydraulics, right? It's all in the, in the pistons and it's all in the hoses and it's all in the backhoe pistons and backhoe hoses. So just keep that in mind, you know, you're going to, you may have to do this a few times if you've got a real dirty hydraulic fluid uh, thing going on in the machine. You may have to do it again next season. You have to clean the filter, drop the fluid, and then you'll probably be good for a while. And, and that, that should take care of it. Okay, so that screen is actually on the left side of the machine. There is a plate and it has two bolts and it has a drain bolt in the center. 
So you're gonna, you're gonna pull the drain bolt on this, drain all your fluid, and then you're gonna pull the two bolts that hold the cap on this uh, screen area off. This whole assembly is gonna come right off. And then you're gonna slide the screen out of here. It slides right out. There's nothing, nothing you have to really do to get this out. And there's nothing you have to take apart to get to this. Uh, the 4710 is nice. They have this screen um, on the opposite side as the suction tube. A lot of the other John Deere's put this screen on the suction tube side, so you have to pull the tube assembly off the off the transmission or the, the axle area. On the 4710, you don't have to do that. It's right here. There is a drain, again, a drain here, the big one in the center. You pull that out, you drain all your fluid, and then you're gonna pull the cap right off. There's two bolts, and that cap comes right off, and you're gonna pull the screen right out. When you pull that out, it's gonna be probably gonna be dirty, so don't be, don't be expecting it to be clean like, like it was when I showed you earlier in this video. It's gonna be dirty. You're gonna to wanna to wash it with a soft, uh, soft brush and some hot water and some, uh, some dish soap, and that should do it. You're gonna put everything back together. You're gonna to probably put about five gallons, uh, give or take a gallon, back in, and then you're gonna check that dipstick in the back, and then you're gonna bring it up to about the middle of the, of the dipstick in the back for the, for the height for the oil. And that should be it. This is a real common thing. This is a maintenance item on, on these types of tractors. Uh, you do this once when it plugs up or when the fluid is, is looking dirty or cloudy, and then everything returns back to normal.